So anyway, here's a full 3D model. She's actually balancing on some sort of banana looking thing. Come here this minute. The face is elongated, but I'm not sure whether or not that's because of screen, uh, because of the way my screen is built. So anyway, he actually take Dodo actually takes Mallow for a one-on-one -on -one battle. Uh, this actually looks is a lot easier when you're uh, Bowser. When I have Bowser, because then it's a really simple one-on-one -on -one fight. So anyway, all you need to do is just damage Dodo until he uh, until he runs all the way back to Valentina. Now he'll do a simple attack. And yeah, that's what Flutterhush does. It'll uh, it'll block any regular old attacks. Uh, no, not regular old attacks. Um, specials. So just be vigilant and keep attacking. He uh, he only does a few. Yeah, multi strike is the other one. Is the really strong attack will do sometimes, which actually ironically does less damage than a regular strike. Jeez, how much power can this guy have? All right, so I think I, I can hit him twice more without uh, the fear of getting hurt. All right, yeah. So here's Valentina. Now what's actually really funny is uh, her attack. When you attack her, so uh, it's actually really funny uh, uh, what happens to her. Yeah, interesting enough. <laughs> it's also really funny the number that uh, that damage happened to be at. And also, it's... all right, I'm gonna have to heal the group. I don't believe uh, Mallow is affected by group hug if he isn't with the group. So it doesn't really matter. We'll just keep hurting these guys. She, uh, she obviously uh, learned her attacks fr attacks from the Kevin Axe school of finger pointing because by her pointing her finger, it automatically hurts you guys. Anyway, just keep uh, just uh, a lot like the uh, little bird before or Dodo. Uh, he'll just eventually uh, something will come interrupting. Dodo, how could you lose already? Well, come on, get over here. Anyway, Mala comes rushing in here his usual breakneck speed and uh oh he's still hushed all right well i'm gonna attack dodo and uh try to take him out early flutter hush it's kind of pointless really anyway diamond saw this is another attack that actually looks kind of dangerous ice is pretty sharp by the way so it actually does look really dangerous anyway more mega gloving punch animal cruelty PETA sued NINTENDO! And in this one, uh, the, um, the, damn it, I forgot her name. The girl's hair. Aurora Flash! This one's kind of annoying. I'll admit it, it looks kind of cool, but everyone goes to sleep. Uh, but look at, uh, but look at the girl's hair. Her, it, it looks like, uh, it looks like she's actually bald, and the, and the, and that bird, and that bird carcass is covering up her, uh, her head. Solidify. I was frozen today! <laughs> anyway. Alright, now just keep attacking. Alright, yeah, alright. Dodo is officially dead. He can't do anything anymore. I've heard him enough so that he apparently can't attack. So now just yeah, use the regular old attacks. And Diamond Saw. Once again, crap. I hope. Again against Peach? Oh, thankfully it missed somehow. Two saws and it still does nothing. Or misses entirely. Mega punch of gloves. Violence against women and then ah, violence against animals and then violence against women. Nintendo is on a roll. Valentina. Crap. Sorry about that. sorry if that got really loud. Solidify. I'm not gonna make the joke again. Yeah, yeah, that's the sign that she's hurt. <laughs> I don't believe this. The show's over, folks! Dodo, let's get out of here! Well, everyone, until we meet again. Which is actually never in this game. This actually proves how strong Dodo is. Not only can he actually fly on those skinny arms, but he can even carry someone else, apparently. So, you get 40 experience and 200 coins. And that's enough to boost up Bowser. Who is celebrating because now he will be the main star once again. It's flying up. Wow. That fat bird can actually carry them? Great, there you go. 
I love how everyone around is just sort of like so casual after that fight. Yeah, wow, I think that would have killed Mal uh, Mallow if a key actually drops in your head. Ah, uh, Mario, look! The key! Yay! And I love Mario's hindsight. Like, he knows Mallow's gonna cry, so he just pulls out Peach's umbrella. And I have to wonder, do all these guys have that ability? That must be lead to some terrible rain forecasts. But wait a minute, if they're on a cloud, then how does it rain? Is there clouds on top of these clouds? Do clouds have their own clouds that are kind of weird? Are they are they rectangles? Mom, Dad, I'd like you to meet Mario. And my other travel companions. I dare say, however can we thank you enough? I'm Mano's father, King Nimbus, who has an excellent mustache, I might add. And also, apparently, Queen Nimbus has a mohawk. Princess Toadstool. Ah, oh, I've heard so much about you. May I have your autograph? <laughs> uh, I love this guy. Uh, who is this gentleman here? This is Mario. He helped me from the start. I sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart. You don't mean THE Mario? The jumping Mario? Autograph, please! Hehe, <laughs> that's good enough. Okay, okay then. Just show me a jump. Tiny help will do. That's, that's a yeah, tiny help in my ass. It's an enormous hop, and I love the, that, the little praise where he's just looking at them. Which I'll later. Uh, where he's just looking at them and just waiting for praise. Leader of the Koopa Troop. Oh dear, another famous person. This is just too much. I must have your honor. Behave yourself, please. Not even a little scribble? Okay. Yes, I'm quite forgetting my manners. Well, who do we have over here? Gino, who I told you about. Yes, in the few, few things. The Star Street. Actually, someone should name a street star. That'd be kind of funny. Yeah, I live on Star Street. Anyway, yeah, there's a star left, and it's in the fucking volcano. And <laughs> it's guarded by a lava dragon. Really? Yeah, Hinopio. That's the one guy who lives in the freaking volcano. Somehow still alive. Anyway. All right, now that we've finished uh, Malo's little chapter, I'm gonna switch out Malo again for Bowser. Because he is a much more preferable opponent. And, uh, let's see. Hmm. All right, well, nothing much I can equip him with. All right, so I'm basically all healed up and ready to go and fight in the volcano. Oh, and here's, uh, in this little room, you can get a few things if I'm mistaken. Go to the king again. The house. I'm wondering why this is even here. You know, there are hot springs around here. Yep, you're no fun. Screw you. Anyway, you can give me another job as a guard. So now, you, uh, go up to him. It's Prince Mal. This is the guy who actually gave us the key to keep him going. It's actually you who rescued him. Good luck in the future. You too. Prince! I was keeping this in, the co in that little pillar. Take it. It's a flower jar, which for some reason I don't have any room for. Crap, pure water. I'm not fighting any ghosts, I think. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Anyway. I uh, just used another flower jar. Wow, I'm getting really close to 99. I'm wondering whether you can actually go past it. I don't believe I ever have. Anyway, after this, all... Th oh, wait, no, here's another thing. They build you statues in your honor. So, yeah, this is pretty cool with Mallow in the middle. Got to see the king's statue collecting. It's remarkable. I have to wonder how much time has passed. So yeah, that went away, but it comes back, and I can uh, hit it. Anyway. Just keep, uh, just keep backtracking a bit. And uh, here's another thing. You can find two more items here. One uh, is hidden out here. This flying guy is still out here. Uh oh, busted. What do I do, what do I do? Here, I'll give you this fertilizer if you let me go, okay? See a fertilizer. Badass. Alright. So now if you go into here, you'll find something else. It's Croco again. We meet again! This land here is rich! I got tons of loot! All I wanted. I'm not wondering whether this guy's a British accent or, an, or, a, or a... Or a Brooklyn accent. Anyway, now what you find is a signal ring. If you equip it, it'll ring at locations where there's hidden treasure. Which is very helpful, but I'm not going for a 100% run. As much as you would think I am. Anyway, uh, I think I'll stop for now. Because I believe this is going more than 90 minutes. So, uh, it's Carlito and his piece saying uh, goodbye.